Hey there guys, this is ATH Shadow Angel here once again and here is the uh, <clears throat> part 3 of uh, the video for Mortarion. Uh, so as you can see he's all finished and uh, I really love, I really have fallen for this model. Uh, I was a bit unsure about it I think when I first started it because it's the first Primark I've done where he's he's not the cleanest of Primarks if that makes sense. Uh, whereas a lot of the other Primarks have quite clean, pristine armor. Uh, Mortarian doesn't. It's kind of dirty. It looks grubby. It's it's everything you expect, kind of of um, uh, someone who went to, who fell to Nurgle or was led on by Nurgle. Uh, so. I'll just give you a quick watch around. So I've tried to go uh, with quite a dark and dingy look uh, for this. Um, and I've tried a couple new bits and pieces out. So I'll try and get close with it in a minute. But for the brass piping uh, on the base and the brass in the armour and just at the top of the scythe. Uh, I've used the uh, oxide paint from GW, uh, base uh, texture paint from GW, um, and I can't recommend it high enough if you want to do uh, that kind of bluish oxidize, oxidize, oxidization there we go, of uh, things like brass and things like that. Because so originally I was going to uh, I was looking into gold and then realised that um, the bits of artwork I was looking at, Mortarion doesn't really go for gold. He has more of that copper brass uh, look to, his, to finishing off his armour. Uh, and so, uh, I shall get in a bit closer. Yeah, just, uh, there we go. So, can see uh, I've kind of gone with the base I've kind of done it as the like, top level uh, straight paving slab that's crumbled underneath uh, the weight of some kind of uh, hit from orbit or something like that just to really bring in the kind of destruction element let me just move this up here I'm going to try and get this in so I can show you this a bit more clearly. As if it will. There we go. So, so as I was talking about before, you can just see the blue lines up under the ridges and joins of the tank on his back, which I've done obviously to bring out the, uh, like I say, the. Uh, the oxygen, oxygen face. Uh, so as for the face, it's just in there. It's palette. Um, I've I've kind of gone with like a really pale, a sickly pale colour for Mortarion, uh, just for the uh, descriptions I've heard of him. Uh, he's obviously not meant to be the most healthiest looking of uh, Primark specimens. Um, so I think he's come out quite well. I've kind of gone up through uh, things like um, started with Pallage Whipped Flesh, then it was a uh, Baltan Green, uh, and then just slowly built it back up to Pallid Witch Flesh, and then given it, a f uh, given the eyes, and um, just down through the cheeks and up through the jaw with a black wash. So it looks like the eyes are quite drawn out. Uh, which you can kind of just make out there, I think. Uh, the gas mask, the, ma the rebreather as well has come out looking quite cool. Uh, it, I, to me, it now kind of looks a bit more like Mortarion, as uh, it was the one thing I thought he was missing from the original model. Obviously, if you're a fan of the artwork and uh, the Black Library books and stuff, he's always described with that. So I'm kind of glad that t uh, came out because it's the first time I've ever done green. Uh, green stuff for sculpting and uh, obviously it's a 
kind of you know it's an expensive model that you don't want to screw up on <laughs> um, so it worked well and I kind of came out a bit lucky with that so um, what else we got oh yeah uh, the green on the shoulder pads uh, I've done that uh, to kind of tie them in with the uh, obviously the Death Guard army um, by the way this was uh, probably uh, the inspiration for the paint, uh, the colour scheme for this model was taken from uh, John Blanche's, uh, I think one of the original sketches that John Blanche did for Mortarian, because uh, it's really, co really nice and really uh, gives you that kind of statuesque element, and obviously the fumes and uh, how grubby uh, he looks. Plus, it was the only one I could really find that either wasn't already decayed and eroded and things like that with massive chunks out the armour which I never really liked to be fair uh, but trying to find a suitably clean looking Mortarian bit of artwork to kind of base this on um, was a bit more difficult than I thought uh, let's bring that out a bit so I can check this so really enjoyed uh, doing the scythe as well uh, kind of went with this uh, brass trimming on the top just to kind of tie it in with the rest of the theme uh, and then really sh uh, shined up the blade and the small uh, like chainsaw that he has on the end just for more chopping power apparently <laughs> uh, I'll say the other thing is you can just make out the chain mail on the, well, that knee pad but that also runs through the waist, top of the legs, the other knee, the back of the other knee, which you can just make out there. Um, now, originally, there's meant to be three canisters on the back. Uh, there's meant to be obviously those two, and then I think there's one down the middle. But I really like this fold in the back, <laughs> uh, and obviously, if you see it a bit better, you can see that the armour on the inside, on the back, uh, with a lot more of that chainmail detail and. Uh, the straps that are holding on the, that are holding the tank on and things like that are all in there and I didn't really want to hide it away uh, so I kind of just went with the two canisters or sensors sorry on on his back because I thought obviously the fumes from the pipes are going to uh, do a lot more of the work <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so the tassels down in the middle I've just done as a dark red just to uh, just because I like dark reds um, and I didn't want to carry on doing whites and things like that. Um, well. Oh yeah, the other one uh, is the actual armour colour. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask me why I chose uh, this colour rather than uh, more of a yellowish colour. Uh, originally I did do this up as um, it was Ushabti followed by um, Seraphin Sapia. And when I'd done it, it looked too yellow and I really didn't like it. So I went back over it with Ushabti uh, and then just uh, Agrat's uh, uh, shade, uh, the whole thing. And it kind of gave me this really nice, dirty looking uh, bone colour. And then just added a few bits of null oil uh, in the folds of the armour. Just so, uh, and on like the lip, the uh, bit more of the brass work. And yeah, and I think he's come out quite nicely. So, I'm going to go get the other uh, five <laughs> and show you what these guys all look like together. So, catch in a bit. So, here we are. So, here we are, guys. So, as you can see, uh, this um, turntable is getting uh, quite a bit full now, and this will probably be the last one I do of these. Uh, all together or I'll have to find a new way of uh, showing you these uh, but as you can see um, obviously you've got Horus and then Ferris Manus Mortarion is in about height wise he's actually about this I think just a bit bigger than Horus um, if you was obviously if they're on the same height of base and things like that um, he's quite broad as well 
and then obviously, so I'll just take these around. So that is now uh, the complete six, which obviously are currently on sale at Forge World. Um, and so, and so yeah, so. Um, So, the next vid, uh, obviously in this series, will be uh, Salamander's Primark uh, Vulcan, who I can't wait to uh, get once they finally release him. Um, but I really, I, the one thing I've loved about uh, this, this doing this series uh, with the Primarchs is it's kind of living a kind of um, modelling dream as far as this hobby uh, I think since yeah since I've began uh, since I started the hobby uh, it's something I've wanted you know I think almost every hobbyist I've ever talked to has always wanted to do the uh, do the Primarchs at some point and to see Forge World doing such an amazing job on these is just um, something cool and I can't wait to see the rest of them um, so I've heard rumours of who the next of who the next next one will be. So after Vulcan, um, whether it is or not, I don't know. Uh, which I, but I hope it is because it's one of my one of my favourites. Which of course is Conrad Kurz, uh, the Night Lord's Primarch. Uh, but that's far far in the future. Um, the next one in the series will obviously be Vulcan. Uh, like I say, when he come, uh, gets released, uh, I've seen some really beautiful uh, paintwork and that done for Vulcan and uh, I'm trying to come up with some slightly new ideas of how I can add my own touch to them and so yeah so uh, so there you go guys uh, once again thank you very much for watching and thank you so much for subscribing uh, thank you for all the comments thank you for all the likes uh, thank you for all the likes on Facebook uh, you can now catch me over on Instagram as well. Just type in the name 88 Shadow Angel, and I'm on there. Um, which I think is a slightly better way to get um, work in progress stuff out. Um, as always, follow the link down below for the Facebook page. Um, which also, if you're watching this on there, thank you very much for liking the page um, and all the messages and comments and everything else. Thank you very very much. Uh, I'm not sure what video will be up next. Uh, more than likely be something Space Wolfy. <laughs> not sure yet. Um, but I shall catch you again next time. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and catch you later. Cheers.